Hi, and welcome to a super short tutorial on how to create cutting lines in Corel from an image. I've googled Iowa outline because I want to cut Iowa out on my laser. So I click on some options here. Notice that some of them have the pixelated background with the gray and white squares. That's the kind of image you're looking for. It's easier to work with. You can use images with a background. It's just easier to use the transparent background images. This image of Iowa is the most accurate, so this is the one I'll use. So I'm going to right click and save image as, saving on my desktop. Then I'm returning to Corel, where I have already started a new project and notice that it's the correct size. So now I'm going to go to the file menu and click import. And I'm going to import that image from my desktop that I just saved. I'll set it there. And I can change the size to how big I want it. So right there, if it's there, it's a little less than four inches wide. So it's a little bit more than two and a half inches tall. So that looks good size. So the next thing I'm going to do to actually get the outline so that it's cuttable, so that you can make it a hairline line, you can't just click and change it, okay, because it has its own properties. So I'm selecting it and then I'm clicking on Trace Bitmap. And choose Quick Trace. It traced the image and it filled it in. First, I'm going to change the outline to hairline, so it's a cutting line. Then I'm going to take away the fill by clicking on the white icon with the X on it on the color bar. Now, I actually have two copies of the image here. I have the original and the one with the hairline cutting line. So I moved one with the hairline cutting line, and then I select the original image and delete it using the delete key on my keyboard. Then I can move the correct version to where I want to cut, add any other features that I'd like to add, and submit it to the print request form. Thanks for watching!